friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I am a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art-related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. Join the 32.5%. We can do this. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing today? Today I have to go down to the township because I am dropping off a mural proposal and I thought that we could go over to the library and see what art books that they have there. I'm not sure if they even have any art books but I thought I haven't been to the public library since I moved to this town and it could be interesting to take a look around. I know that you guys are a fan of art books. I still have to do my favorite art books review, which will be coming. But in the meanwhile, let's go see what they have at the local library. Let's go. Okay, we're here. I parked a few blocks away so I could get free street parking. <laughs> and yeah, it's a hot day, so it's a good day to be indoors. Let's go. Hi friends, it is voiceover Fiona, and I thought I would just show you guys quickly what books I picked up. You can see I grabbed one on Picasso, another on Georgia O'Keeffe, another on the artist's handbook materials and techniques, just this really old school looking book. Uh, I was kind of fascinated to see what was in there. I also got this Mark Rothko in New York book. 
I love his work and yeah, I just kind of wanted to take a deeper dive into it. I mean, how good is that? And last but not least, this gigantic Impressionists and Impressionism book. It had this weird cover, which somebody had put the book in upside down. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it's nice that I get to check out something like this for free in a public library because it would probably cost you upwards of maybe $50 for an art book like this. I don't know, maybe it's considered rare since it's old, but yeah, let's get into it. So when I originally shot this video, I had in mind that I would do a voiceover giving my reviews on the books I picked. And as I began to edit, I decided instead that I'm going to share some thoughts I have on finding inspiration purely because I don't even think it's fair to review these books since I was only in the library for maybe like two to three hours. So I didn't really get to deep dive into them. Um, and it would just be sort of a first impression. But as I swipe through the books here and you can take a look at them, I'm just going to talk a little bit uh, because one of the most common questions I get is, how do you stay inspired? And I guess that's appropriate since I end every video with stay well and stay inspired. But the truth is inspiration isn't something that hits like a lightning bolt constantly. It's something you have to work at. You have to seek it out. Inspiration typically comes from doing the work itself, I find. And it's really hard in this day and age when you're constantly bombarded online. And while I do think social media can be inspirational, sometimes it's overwhelming and draining, which leads me to why it feels so refreshing when I go on these little art adventures with you guys, whether it's to a museum, a coffee shop with a fun mural outside, or the library like today. It's good to go out and seek inspiration in different ways. Finding these books that I probably never would have bought and read on my own. Half of these books were published before I was even born. And reading about other artists, seeing their quotes, some I agree with, some that I don't, seeing their work, reading about their journeys, flipping through the pages of their progress, where they started and where they ended. It really does a lot to fill the inspiration well. And it's hard to describe but it just doesn't feel the same as when you scroll endlessly on Instagram. It's more fulfilling in a lot of ways. And I don't know if it's because I wandered and discovered these books, or if it's just because my focus is on something for more than seven seconds. It just feels good. So I would encourage you to take that trip, pick up that book, venture out, and see what inspiration you might find today. I haven't been inside a public library in I don't know how long and I think there's two main things. One, a lot of the books are older than me so there's that to keep in mind. They didn't seem to have a lot of the newer books at least when it came to the art section but two, it is still nice to read historical things. I think the biographies on the different artists was really really good so yeah something to think about. I recommend if you have a public library, go see what art books they have. Like, you you never know what you might stumble upon. And uh, like I said, even if some of the books are older, they still hold value. Uh, there's, there's things that you can take and things that you can leave. Take what works for you, leave what doesn't. Um, and on a hot day like this, it's a, a nice way to spend a few hours. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Till then, stay well, stay inspired. Bye.